suggested that superlative diseases are those of overexpression and overuse of one aspect of the mechanism of man. Today, owing to the vast changes of time involved and to the untold generations of those who have died upon the earth, so called by the unknown thinker, as a direct complaint of cancer or to be found in the very soil on which we live, infecting the vegetable kingdom and also the human family. A correspondence to the syphilitic complaints of man or to be found in the mineral kingdom. Tuberculosis, which is devastatingly rampant at a certain stage in Atlantean time, is nevertheless a disease which has been generated principally in our Aryan race, and one which we are receiving to the animal kingdom and are sharing with them. This is beginning to be realized. So close, however, is the relation between men and animals, particularly the domestic animals, that they today share with men practically all the ailments in some form or another, sometimes recognizable and sometimes not. Curiously enough, the cause of this great white surge is to be found in the fact of the shift of the life emphasis away from the emotional nature into that of the mind nature, producing a temporary starvation of the emotional nature. It is largely a disease of depletion. Cancer, in its turn, was based similarly on the previous shift of the life force from the physical body into that of the emotional nature, producing an overdevelopment of the cellular life through overstimulation. I realize the difficulty of grasping these statements. I can only give you these unsubstantiated hints. Later discoveries alone can prove the truth of my suggestion. Let us here tabulate our conclusion. Copyright, copyright, 1998, Rufus Trust. 37. The Treatise on the Seven Rays. Volume 4. Esoteric Healing. Disease. Race. Body. Kingdom. Organ. Physicalitic. Lemurian. Physical. Mineral. Sex organ. Sacral center. Cancer. Atlantean. Astral. Vegetable. Solar plexus. Tuberculosis. Aryan. Mental. Animal. Breathing apparatus. Growth center. In referring above to the centers, I am referring to the center for the distribution of the life force, wherein the emphasis for the mass will be found. From the above, it will be apparent where the emphasis of the possible clue will have to lie. Already, and because it is the latest, and therefore the least conceited of the three major diseases inherited by modern man, we have learned how to cure tuberculosis. It has been discovered when the mind was intelligently applied to that. Problems that sunshine and good food could cure, or at any rate arrest, the disease. It is an interesting item in the field of esoteric correspondence that just as the light of the soul, pouring into the mind, can be depended upon to solve any problem, so that light of the sun and its prophylactic rays can dispel the dread symptoms of tuberculosis. Similarly, as the race develops bright emotional control, we shall see the gradual disappearance of the phenomena of cancer. I said right emotional control, inhibition and the suppression of the desire impulses by the force of the will is not right control. It is interesting also to note that though both men and women suffer from the disease of cancer, the general cause is not identical, though the basic cause reaction from an overexpression of the sex life for the cultivation of the desire nature remains the same. Women, 
Owing to the risks they run in power bearing, through the turning of the life emphasis to the sex aspect of life, the revolted on a large scale has been the Atlanteans against this form of life expression, and it is along this line, the sex line, that their major inhibitions are found. They do not suffer so much from the general inhibition of the emotional desire to an expression. Men who suffer from this latter inhibition and have a tradition or a marked tendency to greater emotional control in the handling of life than have women. Men do not require or acquire so marked a sex control. The general field of their inhibited life tendency is therefore of greater extent, and consequently the statistics can be trusted more men suffer from cancer than do women, though it is a dread disease, feared by all. In the secret of right transmutation lies the cure of cancer, and this will eventually be realized. I am using this phrase not only symbolically but also technically and scientifically. This again will later be seen. In the secret of right room of living and in the right proportional accent upon all phases of life will come, and it is rapidly coming complete immunity from tuberculosis. In the secret of right understanding of times and cycles and of periodic reproductive creation, will come the emergence of the waves from the needles of the social diseases. It will be apparent to me, therefore, that the syphilitic diseases will be the last to disappear, just as they were the first to devastate the race. Tuberculosis is disappearing. The attention of the experts is now being given to the cure of cancer. Copyright, copyright, 1998, Rufus Crush. 38. A treatise on the seven rays. Volume 4. Esoteric healing. I would like to add one or two comments which will be of general or rather modern interest. I have said that these tanks to which humanity is prone are found in the soil, and that their presence there is largely due to the burial, down the ages, of millions of corpses. By the increased use of the processes of cremation, this condition will be steadily improved. Gradually, very gradually, the tanks will thus die out. It is therefore highly desirable that there be as much propaganda as possible for the use of this method of disposing of the discarded physical vehicles of the souls who are passing out of incarnation. As the soul becomes less changes, and the soul contact is established, we can hope to see a steady decrease in the number of those who succumb to the inherited taint. Curiously enough, the free use of false sea bathing has a definite effect on the healthiness of the physical body. The water, incidentally absorbed through the medium of the skin and by the mouth, has a vitally prophylactic effect. One of the major problems today to the psychologist and in a lesser degree to the medical man is the growth of homosexuality, both female and male. Specious arguments are brought forth in order to prove that this abnormal development and the consequent interest in this morbid tendency is due to the fact that the race is slowly becoming androgynous in its development and that the future hermaphroditic man or woman is gradually making its appearance. This, again, is not true. Homosexuality is what we call a leftover from the sexual excesses of Lemurian times, an inherited taint, if you like. Evil who individualized and incarnated in that vast period of time are the ones who today demonstrate homosexual tendencies. In those days, so urgent was the sexual appetite, the normal processes of human intercourse did not satisfy the insatiable desire of the advanced man of the period. Soul 
scores, showing intended processes of individualization, serve to stimulate the nerve centers. 10. Forbidden methods were practiced. Those who thus practiced them are today, in great numbers, in incarnation, and the ancient habits are too strong for them. They are now far enough advanced upon the evolutionary path so that the tear lies ready at this time, if they choose to employ it. They can, with relative ease, transfer the sex symbols to the flow center, and thus become creative in the higher sense, employing the energy sense and circulating in right and constructive ways. Many of them are beginning automatically to resist. However, it is well known that, among the so-called artistic types, homosexuality is very prevalent. I say, so-called, for the truly creative artist is not the victim of these ancient evil predisposing habits. It might be pointed out here that homosexuality is of three kinds. One, that which is the result of ancient evil habits. This is the major cause today I indicate. A. Individualization upon this planet. For those who individualize upon the moon chain are not susceptible to these dangerous characteristics. B. A relatively advanced stage upon the evolutionary path which was achieved by the Lemurian egos who succumbed to this desire satisfaction. C. A consequent study of sex magic plus a constant insatiable physical and sexual urge. Copyright, copyright 1998, Rufus Plus. 39. A treatise on the seven rays. Volume 4. Esoteric healing. 2. Imitative homosexuality. A number of persons of all classes imitated their betters, if I might use so paradoxical a term, and so developed evil habits and sexual intercourse from which they might otherwise have remained free. This is one of the prevalent reasons today, among many men and women, and is based upon a too active imagination, plus a powerful physical or sex nature, and a prurient curiosity. This I say with advisement. This category accounts for many of our sodomites and lesbians. 3. A few rare, very rare, cases of hermaphroditism. These people, combining in themselves both aspects of the sex life, are faced with a very real problem. It is a problem which is greatly increased by human ignorance. Human refusal to face back, long early training and teaching, and a widespread misunderstanding. These cases are to be found in small numbers everywhere, even though their numbers, in relation to the world population, is still negligible. But do they exist as of real interest to the medical profession and a subject of deep pity and commiseration to the humanitarian and the understanding psychologist? And they face a difficult situation. I have somewhat elaborated this matter as it is of use for you to know such facts and the information that is value to you. It serves to throw light upon a problem which an increasingly large number of people are called upon to face. Psychologists, social workers, physicians, and all those occupied with group training constantly meet with this problem, and it is just as well that some distinction is made between the types which must be considered, thus clarifying the issue. Two. You will find in these instructions many hints which, though they may not be classified definitely as instructions in healing, yet fall into that category, so they will make those of you who read more efficient in understanding. You will note also from the above how this change, as might well be expected, has 